Wow, guys. Um, I'm glad you bore let me along on this project that you and you guys are doing with the tombs one. I can't wait to see what's inside, but what happened? <laughs> did did Dunban I get busy or something? And Ryan's like, yup. Uh, okay, well, let's see what's ahead of us. <laughs> hey, everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we went across the Bionis Crown Frontier Village and helped out a certain Nopon na uh, named Looper with her love life. And in turn, she gave us a, lo a little bit of a tip there, a treasure inside this tomb. Although it seems to have really shut. Oh, well, looks like we have excess butter to use. So let's do it. No dusty, but hey, it's nothing that Shulk can't handle. There is a reason why we we bought Shulk in here. If you if you open up, in epic fashion, see that effect is also is lovely. We get Battle Soul Art and Eater Records. Now and the soft sea cucumber because <laughs> you know why not. So not only do we get an an art book for one of Shulk's art, I'll be it's the one we most likely will not use ever because it's not a good one in our in our humble opinions. But if we're to go into the in inventory and have a look at said records, we see always. It allows anyone who studies it to learn the Eater Monado Minar art. This is a special quest in which you can get another art for the Monado. Mm -hmm. This is something really, really special. Special and please ignore all for the chests here. Dumbman went a little bit cra crazy. Crazy <laughs> is your screen, okay? <laughs> Look, he likes battling. Okay, he can't be handled. That's why he's a. Uh, He's, he's not with us right now. He's uh, resting in the corner. <laughs> Patching up his wounds. Yes. Thank you. And can I honestly say, in the night, I thought that I thought a tombstone wound was Dunban standing outside going, Yep, I killed. I killed a lot of them. And on a side note, you cannot save while you're inside that coffin. No. No, you can't. Because if you did, I can imagine it's a way to prevent soft, soft, soft locking, in which case you would... Or you would literally spawn inside that unique monster, and if you weren't prepared, it would cause you to die unfairly. So, or yeah. as you saw, the the coffin shut on its own. So I can imagine if you were saving there, oh yes, you'd be stuck in that coffin. That would be <laughs> God. God, not not even mention that. Yeah, that's even more morbid. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Well, I got more than four, four of that. But now, before before we begin, let's see what the Monado can do. It's upgraded in more ways than one. First of all, we will get the we'll get the Monado swinging and up and and up and running. Ego might have done something to mess up, but that doesn't stop up the Monado from getting a few more stronger. Here, Monado Eater removes all all end buffs and, and inflicts bleed. And just and just and just to show the the. Behold the power of the Monado. Thanks, Shulk. Just wanted to show the anime animation there. But I'm gonna halt the excitement for a brief moment, just to say. Eater isn't really that useful. Mm -mm. If I'll be humbly honest, and let's because like you don't know if it's a buff or an aura, and with an aura you just use purge. Not only that, but Eater is to me is so inefficient, and it's worth and it's too much work for what it does. Because for one, as Allah said, you uh, you already have something that removes it in purge. And your reward for it is inflicting bleed, which Dunban, Ricky, and, and ma many other arts can do. So it's so niche and so awkward in its mechanics, it's not actually worth using because it's so selective and so. It's 
require you such a specific layout in order for it, if it to be fu fully effective, but there are so many characters and so many arts that can use it in much more efficient ways. And not to mention, like, I feel like we haven't had really much of an issue with buffs. It's more of the auras we have an issue with, which, which again, Purge takes care of easily. Mm -hmm. So again, it's really not worth it, especially since characters a normal lot already to take care of that. So, seems like Egil... Egil's... Oh no, Apocrypha isn't the only thing that we've got to wor wor worry about. <laughs> but who knows. But, as you might have guessed, there, there are more Monado arts to learn. And we'll go over them in the coming time. But for now, I'd say Shulk's had enough time to f think about it, seeing how he's excited at getting a Monado art. <laughs> I'm sure Fjord's had time to heal and rest up. So let's go in junks. Let's hear, let's hear Shulk's answer right after bed, because I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Yes, we'd like to take a rest because get, uh, cause getting a, a new Monado what takes it out of you. I'm sure Dunban definitely needs the rest. <laughs> After killing? No! I never need it! <laughs> I'm a killing machine. Um. How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I. Wanted to, uh, um, talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes, we agree with you. Egil must be stopped, but we can't act now. Oh? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Mumkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them, before it's too late. Well, you could always ask me to do it. Dixon! What are you doing here? I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other? Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world. And we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9? I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped Shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches, but only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm, bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit. Fiora.
Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive. And now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't you? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end tier prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the Prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied Force attacks Mekonis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callion said that. I was pretty surprised too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikol, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mekonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up, but you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things she needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied Force. Yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a Machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but we'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fiora, don't forget, I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, 
It's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Hom's female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Shulk, take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Leonardo. Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Leonardo, thank you for everything. Now, gratitude and a full party. The <laughs> gang is all is all here for the first time ever. All seven of them. Yep, and boy, and boy, do we have some things to do. <laughs> so, starting off, I think I'm gonna be going with Ryan, Shulk, and uh, uh, you know what? We haven't seen these two in a while. Shulk, 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 Shana, Fanfior. These two girls been out had a party for so long. Let, let's not waste any time. <laughs> and so, uh, starting off, I really like that cutscene. It just shows a solidarity among amongst the party. Mm -hmm. Like, nope, they know we want. We're, we're gonna stop uh, Maconis and even give a little a little bit to motivation by Dixon. <laughs> What more can you say except M56 prototypes suck? <laughs> I know, so it's an obscure saying, but it's one that holds near and dear to my heart. If I can just break away, Shulk, don't get stuck on the sand, escape! For the love of God! <laughs> Swim away, he can't possibly track you. Seriously, you guys are over there. How are you still cha chasing us? <laughs> Seriously? You guys just gonna... Really? Okay, I'm just gonna swim a lot. Thank you. About time. And unlike Eresy, you cannot swim out all the way out. No. If you think, oh, I'll attack from the Bionis, you know, feet first, eh, you probably can't, because... If we just speed this up just a tad. We're almost to the Maconis. 
Ah, if I would never expect one lone harm swimming. <laughs> Don't ever expect a submarine attack. Anyway, we finally reached the edge. If you couldn't guess, there's a distinct difference in color here. So you swim out. Eventually. Took a while, you get bomba uh, bombarded with loud sound effects, ow, and also poison. And there's not much you can do. You can try and uh, mitigate it with threat terrain, threat events. But there's little you can do because there's little places that you can go from that. My rationality on that is it's oil leakage from the Mechonis. Possibly. <laughs> or just natural heap of leakage because we did kind, of, kind of blow up the base. Mm-hmm. But, regardless, it doesn't really, really matter. <laughs> if you really want them to, to do a speed tactic, you could just swim all, all around here and make a shortcut to Digit 2, but you can always just fast tra travel if you ever get it, if I get that point on the map first. Mm -hmm. But a, a final thought to what I talked about for the cut, for the cut scene prior, in short, everyone's here. Dixon, the Allied Force, all seven of us, I love it. And Kalyan is sort of there in, in like third party. Mm -hmm. In spirit. Yeah. And, and so it was Alvis mm -hmm. and 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 Lorafia <laughs> and Dunga, man the Foron, and Juju to an extent. <laughs> well, oh, 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 scratch Juju. But uh, but you know it's a thought that counts. As long as they say yeah, go Shulk, that that's literally all you need, right? <laughs> right. I'm trying to really Juju still sucks. Yeah. Anyway, though, there's not there's not really much that we can talk about of uh, of this except for just enjoying enjoying the ambient. I was literally gonna say enjoy the ambience, but again, <laughs> is it M <laughs> like I said before, M56 prototype mechon suck. <laughs> A tried and true saying which holds near near and dear to my heart because it never bloody ends. All right. Well, may well maybe we can show off Fiora in, in a supporting role. As you can do right there is cause her to have damage immunity to every Sharla. And just and just to prove a point, Fiora about enchant is a Lana and a mark. And not only that, she she can she can give herself health and protection and uh, regenerate. And she can also give us a nice a nice break a break as well leading to topple combos and not only that her art also has combos in it in themselves <laughs> her basic layout hit for two times which for bog standard art is really not that bad so again it's like your literally has no downsides yeah i think Fiora's bread and butter might be in, the, like in her this, speed of her auto attacks that she has. She has the ability to hit twice. Mm -hmm. So putting on like a haste gem on there or a double attack gem on there would really be beneficial for her. It would because again, there's nothing that Fiora can't do that she uh, she can't accelerate in. She can she can be a tank. She uh, she can be a swift a swift attacker, a glass cannon, anything anything you want. And Charlotte probably leveled up from reaching a finger. <laughs> Good for you. And uh, just and just to clock clock this in because why not? And right up here, I believe, is yes. Yeah. Things have got pretty bad now in terms of, en of enemy of variety and, <laughs> and levels, but. An important thing to note is that now things have changed in regards to enemy drops. What do I mean? Just, just give me a split second and I'll, I'll see if I can, can get it out of this ponyo. Looking good too, Fiora. Just what I need. 
Shut up, show. Stop. Stop flirting. <laughs> I see what you're doing, kid. <laughs> Choke! Choke! Subtlety is not one of your strong suits, if any. Good, Charlotte responded this time. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like Dunban said. They like each other, but they just won't do to admit. Admit it in the proper way. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I just love the ponyos running animation. Like, <laughs> I just love. Look, look, look at it. Look at it. Okay, hang on. Oh, what the hell just happened there? Why is everyone ne nearly dead? Yeah, I was gonna make a. I mean, look. Look at the pony! It's like it's tap dancing! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I love it too much. Thank you, Charlotte. I want you heal. They're just gonna be flirting the entire battle for you. Ser seriously? Oh, good! Oh, good one, Shulk. No, you're, you're good. No, Shulk, you're good. And just like, and just like, and just like, Fiora has an easier time getting into high tension too. Yeah. I didn't get from that, which sucks. But um, <clears throat> in short, if we were to go to the Monado Arts for everyone else. You'll notice that everyone, for the most part, except for Show and Battle Soul, everyone is stuck at like level two in terms of art books. Mm -hmm. You can't get level three or the final art books in shops anywhere for any characters. They they can either be found in two ways: one, quest exclusive drops, as in like chests, in which we found with, with Melius Summon Bolt way, way way back in High Enter Tomb, mm -hmm. or something like or, so, or something like Battle Soul within the tomb which we just saw. Good job, Charlotte. <laughs> well, well done, medic. Well done. And, and the other way is enemies that are over, I think, level 50 have a rare chance in dropping them. And have I dropping them? I mean, 80% of character arts. Ranging from everyone. Shulk, Dunban, everyone. <laughs> it's really awkward. And if you are a completionist, kind of like we are, you're gonna hate that. <laughs> One of the ways, and I said, and I said this about Xenoblade 2, and I'll say it about about this game. When you when you lock, when when you lock aspects or important character traits or progression behind RNG and just grinding in general. That is when I think you step over the line of this, this is stopping to be fun, and now it's going into tedium. I mean, to be fair, RPGs have always been grindy to an extent. True, true, but it doesn't make it immune to that type of criticism, so I just wanted to get that point out there. And I'm just going in circles, so I'm just going to save you time, and I'm just going to go to did it too, and get it done. So yeah, if you want to mid... If you... Want to get attacked by wolves? Sure, why not? <laughs> Goodbye, good sir. If you want to mid max in this game, good luck. You, a uh, good luck grinding because you are going to be facing a lot of enemies, and we will be showing each, each, each art and which enemy drops the most from this point on. Which, uh, which enemies have the high, high, high chance of dropping each art as we come across them? But for now. Let us ju uh, just get to the digit two, and we should be all well oh, and good. It just seems so so nice now to have had one back. Mm -hmm. And uh, in regards to Fjord and short short flirting, you've also got to uh, keep keep minding who's watching all this. Char <laughs> Charla, who's meant to be watching out for Melia, but Evan said Evan said has to indulge in, like. In like these two kids flirting with each other. Yeah, I like seeing some comments. It's like Sharla kind of let Melia down. It's like Sharla's like she promised Melia to bring her to Shulk, but 
Charlotte let her down, saying, Oh, Fior's here, sorry. Oh. Uh, I think I think you can almost see it in in like Charlotte in like Melia's reaction as soon as everyone met in the Heath he village. She seemed just so disappointed, like, oh, is that your childhood friend? <laughs> Damn it. Although, to be fair, Charlotte's original promise was to bring Shog back, providing Melia was still in the capital doing her imperial du duties. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, fuck, that didn't happen. So, who, so who's to say? Maybe Melia met. M Melia let Melia down. <laughs> how, how, how meta is that? <laughs> <laughs> but before we go on to digit two, <sighs> you guys are not. Uh, you guys are just not gonna let us go, are you? Stamp, stamp. You, you know what? We'll rub we'll right back. Maybe you guys will drop an art. It's another bloody prototype. <laughs> yep. Oh no! Look what's coming up! Is that an N56 I see? Oh! <laughs> I've, I've not said anything about these guys in this episode. Totally not. You guys suck. Even more, even more you suck. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously not. She like, she wants to see Shulkin have your third for all of the flirting they have been doing. <laughs> I said before, I don't feel bad for her for having that aggro now. <laughs> yeah, well, I do. I'll say it once more and I'll say it again. This can be a cheap way for you to build your affinity. If, for example, you want to let people not land hits without enchant and, and they get depressed, Chug is there to cheer them up and that, and, and that can build the affinity. M manipulation it is not <laughs> but before I thought we head on to digit 2 so I'm taking note to this right right here right here this is the reason why we're here in the first place so long mom car <laughs> anyway Onwards to bigger things and kind of bigger heads, or or bigger faces, shall shall we say? Mm. We're here, being shocked to death. You, sir, a worker bee? Seriously? <laughs> <sighs> Where's the queen then? <laughs> uh. Let's keep up the pressure. Uh, if I can just find the camera angle for it, please. Okay. Okay. Where are you? How do I, how do I lose a freaking titan? <laughs> how do I lose a titan? A titan? A tit Whoa! How did you? Whoa! <laughs> you <laughs> they just... They, they literally exploded in front of me. That was kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so walk away long enough, and they just sporadically combust. <laughs> nice. Or that could be one of that's a result of Fiora's malfunctioning. Oh God, already? <laughs> Fior, we have we have e even se even stepped into the Maconis yet. <laughs> good, good Lord, and I am still stuck around in circles. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, it's been a while since since I've uh, been around for an arm. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, the entrance to the press of the Mechon is high, is highly guarded. No wonder why the Machina don't want to go near it. <laughs> nope. I just listen. I just listened to that sound effect behind me. Also, I think one of the reasons why they're not doing so well is because uh, they're uh, they're really they're really slow. Screw you! <laughs> you guys done? No. No, of course not, because we hate you. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the fallen arm, where your hopes go to die. You wanna have, 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 
have her for, for one arm. Well, that's the way we're meant to go. I think. My god, it's been a while. <laughs> And like you mentioned before, you th you think it'd be a lot more straightforward since it's just the hand, basically. No, but it's not connected like you think it is. There's there there's a lot of crevices and a lot of cre creases on on this hand. But here we are, finally reaching digit two. But as you can probably, probably see, there either is an easy way and a hard way. I guess which way we picked. <laughs> as always. You always find the hard, for the easy route after the fact. Mm -hmm. Cause, Cause look at this, timid wasps, wisps that don't harm you whatsoever. And definitely not an eighty-six antle at the end of all this. <laughs> no. Nope. Or N fifty-six bloody bloody pro, for prototypes. Or worker bee units or wolves. Uh, <laughs> Just docile <gasps> bugs. <laughs> I. Guess that's why they were able to get the key to this place so easily. I suppose, because it's just like wisps. Oh no, the mechon humanity or mechamanity. Is that even a word? <laughs> it is now. It is now in Xenoblade speaking. How do you two? Oh, first get I get ahead of me and choke. You keep your head down, sir. Do not look up. Lord, do not look up, especially with Aviora here. <laughs> I don't think she'll like that. But as we go higher and higher and higher, we get, you know, a better view because obviously hands is a well known for their ver vertical height. And there's an oyster on the wall. <laughs> it must be a very, 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 very sticky oyster. Did I mention? Uh, and did I mention very? I think I did. Now, if you want, now if if you wanted to enjoy climbing or probably back up again, collectibles there across each of these beams if you want. Mm -hmm. Me? No thanks. I'm good for now. I enjoy seeing. I enjoy seeing the sight as Shulk fl flimsy climbs up. If you are, how did you do that? Another oyster. <laughs> Lovely. I wish we were able to get a back view, but obviously not. That's higher up now. See, seeing the hidden village, what way up here? Definitely makes you more appreciative of this. Because mm -hmm. look at that view, man. You see the wrist, you see the elbow, you even see the shoulder at the push. Such a lovely piece of architecture. And this and this is our enemy geek, keep in mind. <laughs> I mean, wow, I hate him so much, but he's got a nice body. <laughs> you know, as all as all mythical logical RPGs claim. <laughs> the, 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 the antagonist, he's very evil and I hate him. But my god, is he sexy. <laughs> well, they gotta have to have muscles in order to beat people up and destroy towns. Okay. <laughs> Harden from Final Fantasy 15. He's not very. He, he's not what I call buff. Well, that's true. <laughs> he has a nice hat. God, I'm I'm doing it again. <laughs> he's evil, but my God, he's That's got a nice hat. He's he's not buff because he relies on magic. I know, his hat. My God, is this hat stylish? <laughs> you probably couldn't tell. We're losing our minds from climbing up up this goddamn thing. <laughs> like I said, hands are definitely known for their ver vertical height. <gasps> But you really can't you really can't complain about that view, can can you? Mm-hmm. I mean look at this. I'm kind of disappointed that there isn't a poster of 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 this type of view. Nah. 
I just want to just want, just want to take, take a moment. And even though it's 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 crudely rendered, you can see tree tree sprites off in the distance. That to me is lovely. And look, for how small, oh god, for how small it it seems, there is actually a lot to explore in that on that hand. And the sense of height and grandeur at this area is definitely definitely there because like just watching you climb kind of is nerve wracking. Yes. It's like yeah. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, if I were to jump off right now, that's it. I'm dead. Like completely and utterly dead. No going back. Shulk bones broken. It spines. doesn't help that what you're climbing on is pretty flimsy looking. Yes. <laughs> My. God. And the railings are flimsy looking too. <laughs> but uh, but if I may, just want to take a, I just want to, I just want to take a moment and just pan things out as far as they, as far as they can go. Just taking the atmosphere right there. Do you know what sucks? Will help me protect Shulk. I went the wrong way! <laughs> Cause Lord! Oh, I nearly hit that guy. I'm dancing on your wing, I'm dancing on your wing, I'm dancing on your wing. What are you gonna do, pal? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> nothing! I'm s I'm stamping on your wing and you're doing nothing! <laughs> Look at this! He's very docile. I'll give him more credit for that. You know what? One more ta 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 time time. Um, no choice. No choice. <laughs> make the jump, Shulk! Oh, for the love of God, make the jump! Oh. <laughs> Ten points for living. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Not how I wanted to end this episode, but I'll take it. But before we do, let's cut the crap and let's actually go up there to the place where we need to go. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just too funny. I had to. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's been a while since we've used this area. Will you please piss off? <laughs> Dude, what did we ever do He's to He's getting you? revenge for his unique monster brother. You... You broke his wing, and now I break your. Uh, you know, never mind. I don't care much about that brother anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run into a wall over here <laughs> and fade out to stop. Uh, stop the awkwardness, ju uh, just cause. What you re really want to do is just go off to the left there, and you're fine. I just wanted to show it, just cause the views, man. The views. Happiness. Because that's not a kick in the teeth after what that we we just endured. <laughs> not at all. But as we go higher on what I can own shouldn't be snake snake way. Here we are. As close as we've ever got got gotten. Still need to go. One step further. You use the key that we got in a needlessly cool animation, but still, I'll, I'll accept it. Mm -hmm. And nothing else, and nothing else to do now except make our way.
Minardo in hand. Let's go. <laughs> Our targets change from metal face to her uh, to the actual face. Bionis and Mechonis. Oh, it's so different seeing them from this kind of perspective. We cannot see it from here, but our people are still fighting up there. It's difficult to believe that two such huge things ever fought each other. I wonder how the Machina felt at the time. Must have been horrible. Scary too. Fear robs us of reason. Out of fear we commit terrible atrocities and call them acts of self-preservation. Fear gives rise to more fear. A never-ending circle of hatred. Perhaps that circle can be broken. Fear. It must be what's driving this. What's made Egil act this way. Oh. Maybe, maybe it is fear, but that's not something we can have right now. We got no choice. For better or for worse, we go. That's Mechonis. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we take on our enemy. See you guys next time.